Hello, kick you in the shin here, and uh, today I'd like to show you a quick video of my new and improved complex. So let's get this loaded up here. And welcome to my new complex. Let's take a quick look around. The exact same size as my other one. 30 long on each side with extra storage for the redstone, dirt, cobblestone, and gravel because I had so much in my other world and plenty of empty left over. Not a bad little view of a uh, Mopar Rules uh, tree house there. Uh, glass floors so you can see all everything below. There's my mine. A uh, item elevator that goes from the mine all the way up. So let's take a look around. And here we are. Huge. Just as big as the other one, the exact same uh, the exact same size, just completely unfinished at the moment. Another view of the uh, the workings, the locking system the smelting system and by the way the smelting system on both this one and the other one feeds back into the item sorter uh, so that the completed product goes back into uh, the storage as a completed product completely glassed in just so that you can see it I think it's kind of a neat idea instead of trying to hide it in my like my old world was it's kinda of neat when the smelters are working and stuff to see all the lights light up. This is just how tall this elevator is. Way down here. To the mine that I haven't started yet. The redstone to make it work. Yes, I am building this in creative mode. This would take eons and eons to get a much iron for all of the hoppers and all of the wood for the chests it would take forever so I build this in creative mode and then I play the rest in survival mode and just another look around at all the redstone wiring and stuff well, it's such a simple circuit that does so much and that's about it so thanks for watching and stay tuned